Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to an auction that I don't normally go to and I don't think I've even been to this auction this year yet. Have I? Do you know if I have? No, I haven't. And I'm here with Erin's sister. She's driving off camera and we are going to go and see what there is to find. I have not looked at any of the photos yet so I don't know what's even there. Hopefully I can find a few things but we'll see. Uh, this auction has box lots and those are always fun and a surprise so maybe there's some things lurking in the boxes the table stuff usually goes for higher than I think is necessary but we're gonna find out and I'll try to get a little bit of footage while I'm inside there but it's a little awkward in this particular place because it's a really open building and people like to sit at tables and just watch you so let's take a look There's actually a chair over here I see. Right here. Yeah. That's a pretty good chair. Needs to be reupholstered, but other than that, pretty good. All right, I am back from the auction and I grabbed a whole bunch of nothing. Woo! I actually did get a couple things that's in the downstairs table. I'll show you that in a bit, but I wanted to clarify something that you've seen in the last clip and that's how they do their box lots. It might be kind of hard to uh, figure out from this clip, but when they get to two and three dollar boxes, he'll just say, go get them. And then that's everybody's cue to trample over each other and pick up their box that they want. And then they have to like grab a auction hand and then they yell out the number. So it's just, <laughs> it's really intense when it happens and it's kind of funny to watch. So I had to record that. Um, but that auction I don't go to very much and I don't really plan to go back again. Uh, they don't have good quality stuff. You can get a couple interesting pieces if you're willing to sit around in 80 degree, in a big 80 degree barn shed thing and do it and deal with it, but it's just really not worth it. And um, so we left after about an hour and a half, I think. I tried to get one shelf, but the shelf that I wanted there was a miscommunication and they didn't see my bid, so I didn't get it. Unfortunately, I then went to the, my booth, my antique booth, which is right down the street from this particular auction house. And I went in there just to leisurely stroll around there, me and Barb, Aaron's sister, and we <laughs> walked in there and there was another dealer there and he was looking for some shelving and, uh, he asked if I had any shelving that I could sell him. Well, I do have a few shelves in my booth, so I sold him two of my dark shelves. They are like five tier bookcases that are in each corner of my booth number one that I have. So I sold him those two for $40 for the pair. Um, <clears throat> so now hopefully I can find better shelving, more interesting looking shelving and stick that in there. So fine. I, that was, I'm just saying it was a big ordeal trying to find a place for all of these items though, because my booth is already super full. So I had to take items from two bookcases and cram them in other places. So, um, anyway, that happened. So unfortunately I didn't get a bookcase at the auction. And if I did, that would have been great. Cause I could have just swapped them out right then and there. Um, but we're going to go ahead, I think I mentioned everything, and go down stairs and take a look at what I got. I was just walking down in the basement and I realized I forgot to show you how this looks all together. So that's the gold chair that I got, I think last week. 
and then I just got this one here for a dollar. I still need to vacuum it a little bit and then try to repair it because it doesn't quite set level. I mean, it's pretty straight, but it, it slants downward this way, so I need to flip it over and see what's going on. Otherwise, it's a great chair. This over here, and it is actually a train display. I paid only $5 for this, which was amazing. And it's actually in four pieces of styrofoam and they're already carved out really neatly. So all you have to do is lay the track in place. And it came with all of this track and a couple engines. I don't know what's going on with the wheels on this one, but there's an engine, there's an engine. And then we've got a couple train cars. So pretty awesome buy. And then it even came with a whole bunch of packs. These are never even opened. So that's neat. Uh, the brand is Life Like. Haven't really heard of that. I've heard of Atlas and Walther's. And I think there's another one with an A it starts with. Oh yeah, I said Atlas. But um, anyway, this looks pretty older. I mean, I, I don't know when it was made. I don't see anything like this on the market uh, where you can buy the styrofoam formed pieces like this. But Aaron has been wanting to do a train display for a while not me in particular but i will uh, be happy to play with this because i think it could be fun to make a little town in the middle here and do that and um kind of interesting to watch this train go around so it's uh, one continuous track not two and it just um goes like a spiral kind of emotion so that's pretty neat um he's been looking at buying himself a new engine, probably a Norfolk Southern engine. That's his favorite train line. And so that'll be neat, but those trains are really expensive. This is the engine and he would need one, I think it's about $150. It might be more, I can't remember. Uh, this will also need a new transformer. Oh, it also came with a couple transformers. Came with that one there, came with this one here and this one there and lots of wires. So for $5, that's a great deal um, because this, if you were to do all these mountain ranges yourself, that would take a lot of time and we just don't have that skill set right now. It could probably be eventually expanded upon. Um, he wants to do a whole train display, probably you know, around in here, I don't know but he wants to do something eventually, but this is a really great start just to get the bearings and try to figure out the electrical and everything that goes along with it. Um, so I think he'll have good fun with this as a start. So that is all I wanted to show you there. All right, it is Monday morning and I'm just about to prepare all these items that sold over the weekend for shipment. I sold quite a lot of stuff. Um, uh, what is it 11 orders that's pretty good for me uh especially for the middle of the summer uh the last few weeks i've not been doing that great maybe five orders on a monday going out i do ship every day but of course they compound a little bit on the weekends so that friday saturday and sunday's worth of sales really just kind of all go out on monday uh so that's what i'm showing you right now and i'll just go through them real quick one of my subscribers bought $112 worth of stuff for me. Um, I think it's like five different things. So she bought these two aprons. They were, I think, $17 a piece. And then we've got these really nice pink poodle cha on chains figurines. Those are really nice. Then we have a really cool set here. They look like old um, oil lamps, salt and pepper shakers. And then lastly, she got this cake plate cover thing. Really, really awesome. I love that thing. So that was a really great bunch of items that, you know, that's a really great sale right there. Um, next up, I sold this little ET glass. I'm trying to get away from these because they are hardly worth my time to deal with. But uh, it says, I'll be right here. It sold for $12 and that includes shipping. So I'll be able to put this in first class, in a first class box. Uh, very, very, um, it'll, it's very, very close to a pound, but I can get that under a pound. So um, I'll net about $7 or less. I uh, got this really nice 
Glass Elephant. It sold for $18 with shipping included. A little sticky on there. And um, so that'll also go first class and I'll be able to net about 14 or so dollars. Also sold a bit sewed, also sold a baby bin West Clock Clock. It's one of those wind up alarm clock deals. It sold for $20 with free shipping. A set of owls, we got a big one and a little one that sold for $16 with free shipping. I think I was a little bit low on that. I should have put them at 20. Um, that was one of those items that got, that got screwed up with my pricing whenever I went crazy with it a couple weeks ago. So, um, yeah, that's great. They sold. I still have a set of three of these available though online that are all in the larger size or no, it's, um, the, I think there's one more size to make a full set of three. Um, and then we also, I also sold these two compact Shirley Temple mirrors. They are really neat. If you are a collector of Shirley Temple, got a Christmas one and this one with her and a doll and they sold for $12 with free shipping. And so th these are gonna be ultra light, so they'll probably be under $3 to ship. Um, and then I sold this old Virginia glass shoe, carnival glass shoe with the label inside. And this sold for $24 with free shipping. Very quickly too, I just listed that about a week ago. <laughs> Same thing with that, I just listed those, uh, these right here, and they sold for $38 with free shipping. Uh, the shipping should be between $8 to $12, I would imagine. So good margin on those. I think I paid $5 for them. Um, very, very good. Uh, next up, I sold these rooster, fish, fruit, all that, plates, our trays, set of three. And I sold them for $20 with free shipping. The shipping will be about $10, so I'll net about $10. And I think I bought these for $0.25 cents each at a yard sale. So that's pretty good. I uh, also so, sold these Tupperware tumbler set of five. I have now sold three other sets of these, all in different sizes. This is the last set. And um, they sold for $18 with free shipping. I think that I'll be able to put these in a poly mailer with some bubble wrap and they'll go first class. Next up, this is that cake plate that went with the other set of things. So they're all gonna get shipped together. And it's just a really cool mid-century cake plate. Uh, it locks on the sides with these two little levers that that go in there. And um, here, really cool, really cool piece. And I was happy to find that. And the last thing that sold is this 70s glass shade that you'd stick on the ceiling on a semi-flush mount light and it sold for $28 with free shipping. The shipping on this would be about eight to $10 as well. And it goes simply in a 12 by 12 by eight box uh, with padding on the top and the bottom. And that's really all it takes. It, I've sold maybe a half dozen of these things and they always get there just great and they're really cool. So a pretty good Monday. Now I'm gonna spend the next hour or two, <laughs> yeah shipping these and getting these all ready and I'll take them to the post office. But that's a really great Monday, I would say. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below what you thought of everything. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.